Hello students. Now we will discuss fraction of kinetic energy transferred in perfectly elastic collision. Fraction of kinetic energy transferred in a elastic collision. Consider a target object of mass m2 is initially at rest. Suppose this is the target object of mass m2 is at rest. That is u2 is equal to 0. And the striking object of mass m1 is moving with velocity u1 toward the target. So this is the striking object of mass m1 moving with velocity u1 before collision. Then after some time the objects collide with each other that is object of mass m1 collide with object of mass m2 and this is during collision and suppose v1 comma v2 are the velocities of masses m1 comma m2 respectively after collision so this is object of mass m1 moving with velocity v1 and this is target object of mass m2 moving with velocity v2 after collision and also after collision v2 is always greater than v1 and v1 and v2 are given by v1 is equal to m1 minus m2 upon m1 plus m2 into u1 let it be equation number 1 and v2 velocity of target object after collision is equal to 2m1 upon m1 plus m2 into u1 suppose it be equation number 2 now kinetic energy of the striking object before collision is given by e1 is equal to half m1 u1 square Suppose it be equation number 3. As the target object before collision is at rest, therefore kinetic energy of target object before collision is 0. And hence kinetic energy transferred in a collision is equal to kinetic energy of target after collision and is given by delta E is equal to half m2 v2 square. Let it be equation number 4. The fraction of kinetic energy transferred during collision is given by F is equal to ratio of kinetic energy transferred in a collision to the kinetic energy of striking object before collision. Therefore, F is equal to delta E kinetic energy transfer in a collision upon 
E1 kinetic energy of striking object before collision. Now putting their values, this is equal to half m2 v2 square from equation number 4 upon half m1 u1 square from equation number 3. In this expression, half and half cancel each other. So this become equal to m2 v2 square upon m1 u1 square. Or it can be written as f is equal to m2 upon m1 into v2 square upon u1 square. Let it be equation number 5. Now from equation number 2, the velocity of target object after collision that is V2 is given by V2 is equal to 2M1 upon M1 plus M2 into U1. By solving this, we get therefore V2 upon U1 is equal to 2M1 upon M1 plus M2. Let it be equation number 6. Putting this value in equation number 5, therefore from equation number 5 and equation number 6, we get small f is equal to m2 upon m1 into 2m1 upon m1 plus m2 whole square. Now solving this, we get small f is equal to m2 upon m1 into as 2 square is 4, so it becomes equal to into 2 square 4 means 4 m1 square upon m1 plus m2 whole square. Now m1 in the denominator cancel with one of the m1 in the numerator and solving this so we get f is equal to 4 m1 m2 upon m1 plus m2 whole square let it be equation number 7 this question show that f does not depend upon the velocities of colliding objects before collision. It only depends upon the masses of the colliding objects. Now, condition for maximum kinetic energy transferred in an elastic collision. As the maximum kinetic energy transferred in a collision is equal to the kinetic energy of the striking object. Therefore, the maximum value of the fraction of kinetic energy transferred is equal to 1. That is, therefore, F is equal to 1. Putting this value in equation number 7, so we get 1 is equal to 4 M1 M2 upon 
एम वन प्लस एम टू होल स्केयर बाय क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस इंप्लाइज एम वन प्लस एम टू होल स्केयर इज इक्वल टू फोर एम वन एम टू टेकिंग फोर एम वन एम टू फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड टू लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो इट बिकम और एम वन प्लस एम टू होल स्केयर माइनस फोर एम वन एम टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो और एम वन माइनस एम टू होल स्केयर इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज ए प्लस बी होल स्केयर माइनस फोर ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी होल स्केयर इन अवर केस ए इज इक्वल टू एम वन एंड बी इज इक्वल टू एम टू नोट टेकिंग स्केर रूट बो साइड सो वी गेट एम वन माइनस एम टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो और एम वन इज इक्वल टू एम टू and both equal to m therefore the transfer of kinetic energy in a elastic region is maximum if the masses of the colliding objects are equal in this case the value of f is equal to 1 that is the fraction of kinetic energy transferred in a elastic collision is equal to 1 if masses of the colliding objects are equal this is also called the maximum power theorem so thank you very much